Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan, and I am the man in the wild. Welcome to another episode. Trinidad is a tropical island, and one thing we have a lot of on this tropical island is coconuts. Coconuts are very healthy, nutritious, and versatile, but there are some secrets that most people in the world have no idea about. Stay tuned, we are going to teach you some interesting facts and secret knowledge about the coconuts that you never knew. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. The coconut palm tree can be found along the shorelines of both Trinidad and Tobago. Today, I'm going to show you some of the uses of the green, ripe, dry, and growing young coconuts. So what's it, what's your name? Sukdeo. Sukdeo, um, how long have you been doing coconut or working in the estate? Well, not too long really. Eh? How old were you when you learned to hox coconut? How old I was? Yeah. The question said 20, 25. Nothing so much. Eh? About 30 and then. Okay, so probably around the age of 30 is where you learned to start the hox yeah, coconut. So you didn't start from a very young age? No, no, no. What was the method you prefer to hox coconut best? Is it with a cutlass or with no, the stick? This is better. That better. All right. So that is the best way to hox the coconut. Yeah. You're able to, to hox a yeah. lot more, more in fast. a shorter period of time. More fast, yeah. All right. So Mr. Sukde will give us a demonstration on how he does hox this coconut. By sharpening a piece of stick at both ends and sticking one end into the ground, Mr. Sukde places the head of the coconut onto the other end of the stick. There he can force it into the fibers, separating the fibers from the coconut. He can even use this technique to hux a matured green coconut. If ever you are in a survival situation, this method would be excellent for opening coconuts as you can simply sharpen both ends of a stick on a rock. Leave a comment telling us what you think of this technique. This is the coconut you will see in the supermarket after it has been hoxed. You can even use this method to hox a well-matured green coconut. But it will not work well for a young green coconut as the inner shell is very soft and it will split open very easily. Stay tuned, coming up, we have some interesting facts and a delicious surprise at the end. This is one method you can use to hux a coconut. I will show you other methods as we go further into this video. I will now give you some interesting tips in planting a coconut. Only the dry coconut can be planted to grow. The dry coconut has three ridges as you can see here. Most inexperienced persons when planting a coconut usually dig a small hole and place the coconut with one of these ridges down into the hole. This usually results in the coconut rotting instead of germinating. The coconuts usually do not germinate when they are stored on the ridge. It is better to plant the coconut resting on one of its flat face as the coconut tend to naturally germinate when resting in this position. If you want to get a faster and more successful germination, planting the coconut with a tail end in the ground like this is the best method. The young shoot finds least resistance germinating at this angle and shoots out the top of the coconut very easily. When the coconut is resting on its flat face, one of the germinating eyes is always located at the top like this. But when on the ridge, none of the eye is on the top. Thinking the coconut is afloat in water, it refuses to germinate. When planted with the tail end down, all of the eyes are at the top and the coconut germinates easily, sometimes even with two germination on a single coconut. I will now demonstrate one of the methods used 
for opening a green coconut. There are many methods for opening green coconuts and even some inventive machinery. But this is the method that is most commonly used in Trinidad. By peeling away the hocks from the lower half of the coconut, the inner hard shell is exposed and this is how you can open the coconut. Once the hard shell is exposed, you can then open the coconut to consume its contents. Once the hard shell of the nut is exposed like this, I can cut off the top of the nut. The opening at the top of the nut will allow me to drink the contents of the nut. A freshly picked green coconut with slight jelly is one of the most delicious coconut you could have. This is very delicious. A fresh picked green coconut on a hot sunny day on the beach? Trinidad is a natural island paradise. I will now cut open this coconut to get the delicious jelly that is inside. I will start by cutting a small air on the outer shell. This will be used as a spoon to scoop out the jelly later. And now I will cut the coconut open into three separate parts. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment on this video. This coconut has a very thin layer of jelly. I will use the spoon that I had cut earlier to remove the jelly. Continue watching as I have another delicious surprise coming up. Coconut jelly is very delicious. What we consider a ripe coconut is one that is no longer green but has not yet dried. It has a very hard inner nut and a tough outer husk. To husk a ripe coconut, we use this method. We first shave away the lower end of the coconut as we did with the green coconut. After shaving away the husk from the bottom part of the coconut, I will then split the husk on the upper part of the coconut and peel it off, exposing the nut. Using a blade like I am doing will work fine if you have to hux one or two coconuts. But if you intend to hux a few coconuts, then a sharpened stick is a much better technique to use. Don't forget to like and share this video. It goes a long way in helping us to produce more videos like it. After a lot of elbow grease, we now have the nut free of its shell. A ripened coconut is one of the most difficult coconuts to husk. I will now demonstrate one of the methods you can use to husk a dry coconut. With a dry coconut, you do not have to shave off the bottom end. You can usually just split the husk on the three flat surfaces and separate it. Although the first method demonstrated by Mr. Sukdeo with the stick is considered to be the fastest and easiest method to husk a coconut. Stay tuned because coming up next, I will share a delicious secret with you. Known by many Trinbegonians, this delicious secret is quite common. But to many from non-tropical countries, this will be an interesting and delicious surprise. But before we get into that delicious surprise and some interesting facts that go with it, let us finish Hudson this dry coconut. In Trinidad, dry coconuts are used to flavor our curries and stews, and it is also used to make coconut oil one of the healthiest oil you can consume. Dry coconut is a natural laxative and cleanses the body of many impurities. Impurities like lota and eczemas on the skin and dandruff in the hair. It is a beautiful and sunny day and the ambience is perfect for enjoying some coconut treats. The indented laborers that planted most of the coconut estate in South Trinidad came from India. 
and they called this young coconut plant a jamal, which roughly translates to young growing coconut. Inside this young growing coconut is a special treat called the gem, which came from the name Jamal. And this is why, within the areas where there are coconut estates, the inside of the grain coconut is referred to as the gem, whereas the rest of the country refers to it as coconut bread. I would like to thank Mr. Lal Marcha for sharing that piece of historical information with me. Now let's open this coconut and get a delicious treat. The gem or coconut bread is encased within the coconut. The jelly that surrounds the gem or coconut bread is usually called the copra. There is no water in this growing coconut. The jelly or nut part of the coconut is rich with oils and consuming this jelly is as good as consuming virgin coconut oil. By opening this coconut, we get both a delicious treat and a nutritious nut that is as good as virgin coconut oil. We can now see the gem or coconut bread exposed after we have opened the coconut. The gem or coconut bread has a crusty outside and a soft white inside, much like bread. And it is because of this crusty outside and soft inside it got the name coconut bread. But unlike bread, it is not dry on the inside. It has a moist, soft, sweet, delicious flavor. The coconut gem, or bread as it has been nicknamed, is one of my favorite natural treats. And if you live on a tropical island like myself, you can take a trip to the beach anytime you want and enjoy some lovely, sweet, delicious coconut gem. Apart from it being a lovely treat, it is also a very healthy and nutritious food as it contains lots of natural sugar to give you energy and healthy virgin coconut oil. My boys and I will now enjoy some of this delicious treat and health benefits that come from the natural coconut that grow here on the tropical island called Trinidad. If you enjoyed this video, please consider helping this channel by subscribing and sharing this video. You can also leave a like and a comment. Until the next episode, my boys and I will enjoy some coconut treats. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.